Chapter 2 Maps and Globes Maps and Globes The world where we live in is huge and we do not know all the routes, landmarks, etc. Thus, to keep us aware of all the cities, states, countries with their respective routes and landmarks, we use Maps and Globes. Maps and Globes help us to locate places anywhere in the world. Maps A map is a visual representation of an entire area or a part of an area, typically represented on a flat surface. Maps can show the different types of lands, natural resources, climatic conditions, railways, roadways, etc. Thus, a map shows the structure of the earth on a flat surface. More to know Evolution of maps began around 8,000 years ago. Types of maps Maps can be of three types. Political maps They are designed to show the governmental boundaries of countries and states. They also indicate the location of major cities and significant water bodies. Physical maps they are designed to show landforms like deserts, mountains and plains. Thematic maps They are designed to give specific kind of information like roads, vegetation, rainfall, population, soil type, etc. Large scale and small scale maps the scale of a map is usually defined as the ratio of a single unit of distance on the map to the corresponding distance on the ground or the scale of a map depicts a smaller view of a larger area. Large scale map shows a smaller area in detail. Here, the land area represented is smaller while the scale is larger. Small scale map shows a large area without much details. Here, the land represented is larger while the scale is smaller. Elements of a map A map represents the features using various elements that includes Title It is the name of the map. It describes what the map is about. Direction It is the direction among the cardinal directions depicted by the map. The cardinal directions include east, west, north and south. Scale It is the ratio of the distance on the map to the actual distance on the surface of the earth. Index It is the content manager of the map depicted by different colors and symbols. Symbols They are used to read map easily. Various symbols represent various features. These symbols are called conventional symbols. Grid system It refers to the latitudes and longitudes depicted on the map, used to locate the places on the maps easily. Globes A globe is a three-dimensional spherical model of the earth. The word globe is derived from Latin word globus which means round mass or sphere. All the geographical features are depicted on a globe. More to know. Globe is round in shape as a planet Earth, so it gives the most accurate picture of the shape and size of the land and water areas of the Earth. How are maps and globes different? A map is a flat representation of the Earth, while a globe is a spherical representation of the earth. A map can depict the whole world or a small part of it, while a globe cannot depict the minute details. A map is portable as it is folded and thus easy to carry, while a globe is not portable as it is bulky and occupies space, thus difficult to carry. A map can show the entire picture of the earth in a single view while a globe can show only one half of the picture of the earth in a single view. Now I know. 
A map is a visual representation of an area of the earth represented on a flat surface. Maps can be political, physical and thematic. Large scale and small scale maps depend on the area represented. A map has various elements that include title, direction, scale, index, symbols and grid system. A globe is a three-dimensional spherical model of the earth. Globe is round in shape and all the geographical features are depicted on a globe.